first things first please excuse the mess i've got a million and one projects on at the moment and my car's failed the mot so i've got a a mess everywhere i'm trying to do about 15 jobs at once and now i've got to weld the silip on the car just been through my scrap metal box found a piece of metal big enough to make this sill repair panel so this is the repair panel i've got to put a little right angle lip along there you know as usual i use my two bits of angle iron because i still ain't got a folding machine sorted that i can sort of just jump on and use and rather than trap that in between two pieces of angle and then tap it over with a hammer like i've shown you in the past i thought i'd just show you this real cool tool and it was just literally a few quid off ebay you buy a set of these hammers and they're different sizes i think there was two or three in the set that i bought and it was i can't remember what it was nothing much under 20 quid anyway for the three i think and what i've done is i've polished a bit of a face on this and i just thought i'd show you how i can make a right angle lip as though it's been formed in a proper folding machine um absolutely perfect this could be used for so many projects actually has been used for so many projects it's also been used for its intended purpose which is to knock suspension apart if you've got a ball joint that won't come apart a little bit of a blast with the air hammer on that and it'll just fall straight off don't regret buying this anyway one of the best things i bought in a long time so let's get it set up and i'll just show you ever so quickly how i can form this beautiful right angled lip I need this lip to be folded up this way, the side I've scribed on. Oh, it's just so easy, isn't it, to fold some at the wrong way around. I've done that so many times. So I've got two pieces of angle iron. That was a basic. I'm just gonna slide that through there. there. Should just be enough slack on the vise to get that through. So just line that up. Okay, spotty Oni, clamp that off, and so I got this Sealy long stroke air hammer. I think I'd be better off with a medium stroke. I'm gonna have to get round to buying one of those one day. Um, anyway, what I've done is I've throttled back the air because if I use it flat out, then it's a little bit too aggressive. So I'm just going to pop that in there, like that, and I'm just going to fold that over. Very nice sharp right angle bend, everything really straight. Uh, if you're going to use this, what I would do, or I wouldn't do rather, is when you use it, I just keep easing it over, but I wouldn't dress the outer edge that hard. Uh, you can go on this inner a bit more, where you actually want the fold to be nice and sharp but the more you pound that outer edge the more chance there is of that stretching and then it'll curve round but it's very controllable and it's very crisp there's no hammer marks at all that's perfectly flat and um, I think it's made a really good job of that Oh, 
Oh, thanks very much for watching. I think I said air hammer. What I meant to say was air chisel with a hammer attachment. And this is a Sealy long stroke air hammer. As I said, I think the medium stroke would be a far better bet for this job. But I can't confirm that because I haven't bought one yet, but I definitely will be. This isn't the video I wanted to make on this subject. I was actually gonna use this for a hammer forming project, but I thought, well, what the hell? I'm making this little panel now, I might as well make this video and get something on then. Uh, but there will definitely be more things to come utilizing this technology. It's all been seen before, it's all been used before, but I'm sure it's new to some of you, so it probably was worth putting on for the people that didn't know about this kind of thing anyway. In the video, you probably saw me wavering off a little bit the line. It didn't matter at all because once I got the metal down onto that flat piece of angle, it just flattened out ever so quickly. Um, and I think the biggest problem with this long stroke thing is it's so brutal that it's kind of jumping all over the place. You need something that's got a little bit less force behind it, a little bit more controllable. You could also make a guide for it as well to hold it in one place. I've got tons of ideas on this kind of thing, but it's just putting those ideas into practice that is uh, sort of stopping me really from showing you more stuff. The best thing about this thing for me personally is I suffer with extraordinarily bad golfer's elbow and tennis elbow if I used my arm a lot. No jokes guys, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so if I use do a lot of hammering then my arm is absolute agony. I've had this now for well over a decade, seeing physiotherapists and all the rest of it. And at the end of the day, unfortunately I realised I've got to live with this situation as many other people have. And utilising this technology completely stops that from happening. It works so well, of course, because it's multiple blows in a very short amount of time, nice measured blow as well. And so it's just putting exactly the same pressure on each time. And um, some of it's gonna take you a long, long time to sort out. Only takes a couple of minutes with this thing and it's very accurate and it's very smooth. You wouldn't know the difference between that and a folded piece of metal in a metal folder or pan brake, whatever you want to call them. Um, so this wasn't the video I was going to make actually. I was going to make a video utilising this technology. It was going to be a hammer forming video. It's going to be a bit more clever than this. But I thought, well, what the hell? Let's just make it because I'm going to use it anyway to make this sill section. And it gives me something to upload so I can stay a little bit more current. Hope everyone's all right. Um, difficult times at the moment in the UK and I'm not immune to it either. Uh, very difficult times at the moment and I hope you guys are all right and I sincerely mean that because there's a lot of people that um, I'm very fond of and they're really struggling at the moment so I'm sure that some of you guys are too. Anyway, I'll say uh, keep the faith guys and I'll see you next time round. Won't be too long and I shall say bye for now.